Greetings all, Professor Gomes here. I just thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, create this video to give you an idea of what you can expect from the course and basically what I can expect from you. I'm recording this on Thursday, September 1st. Fall semester starts Wednesday, the 7th of September. So, um, just kind of going through the uh, particulars here. Welcome to introductory statistics, Math 158. I'm excited to work with you this fall 2002 term and to assist you in achieving your academic goals. One of the many reasons I love teaching this particular course is the real world applications. What is in statistics these days with politics in the uh, news and just what's going on with climate and wars in Ukraine? It seems like you can't turn on the TV or whatever. You're not hearing some mention of statistics. It's, it's all over the place. So it's real world stuff. Um, please go through all these pages, familiarize yourself and how we'll operate. You'll see that your textbook is free. Um, please contact me if you have any questions. Best way to contact me is via email. There's also a discussion board and I'll get into all of that. But to get started, when you first log on, I want to publish this as soon as I complete this video. And um, when you first log on, you're going to see this page. And what I want you to do with this, um, to your benefit is to click on this very first option here, Course Overview. Here again, the class begins, the semester begins uh, this coming Wednesday. Uh, if you click on this link right here, this is a hard copy of the syllabus to PDF file. Hopefully, the majority of you are familiar with Canvas. If not, you can click on this beginner's guide that can bring you through and give you answer some questions, which browser you should use, technical requirements. Pretty much, um, Chrome is preferred other than any other browser. Um, how do you log on to Canvas? The ARC, all right, the Academic Resource Center. We'll talk more about this, but the ARC is available to um, to answer questions and to provide to provide um, tutorial services if you're going if you're having some difficulties. So make your uh, make use of that if need be. Course description basically right out of the uh, catalog to this course is recommended for business students, social science, human services, allied health, just about anything offered here at Massasoit. Um, stats is a required course. Prerequisites, there it is right out of the um, catalog, D minus in math 003, so on and so forth. All right, getting down to the nuts and bolts here. All right, online course. What I'm going to do is each well, before I even get into that, is teaching procedure. Each Thursday, even though it's online, you need to, I need to sometimes touch base with you. And how I'll accomplish this is by holding a, what I refer to as a non-mandatory one-hour Zoom office hour meeting on Thursdays from 7 to 8. Now, you may ask, you may ask yourself, well, why are you doing it so late in the evening? Well, the idea is if you're taking a, online course right fully online chances are you're, you're working and you're pretty much tied up during the course of the day this is why you've opted to take an online course so rather than have an office hours mid-afternoon when here again people are working i thought that between seven and eight people are home from work they had a chance to eat supper and the like it's non-mandatory i will record these and what the purpose is of the office hours is to to answer questions. Yeah, Mr. Gomes, I saw the answer to whatever question it was. I still don't quite understand it. Would you mind going over it? So each Thursday, and here again, I'll be sending out the link to the Zoom. It's it's part of the syllabus, but I will send out the uh, Zoom link. If you're available, like I say, if you're not available, I will record those meetings and you can watch it at your leisure. Textbook, once again, is free. You can view it online. You can download it as a PDF. You can download it if you have an iBook. All right. Here's what's super, super important. All right. Is that a TI 8384? And I say 8384, but it's a TI. It's not a shop or a Casio. I can only support a te Texas instrument. But here's a good thing. 
if you don't want have one from high school or if your brother or uncle or sister doesn't have one for 20 bucks you can rent and the college in the library has ti-84s which is preferable now if you have an 83 you know you could use it but the 84 is preferable and you can rent it for 20 dollars all right the process is you click on this link here you make an appointment with the library you walk in they charge you that they charge your account 20 dollars. there's no need to um bring any cash with you they don't charge your account bad news is if you don't return it, if you lose it they're going to sock you with a 120 dollars charge to your bill all right if you're looking for a hot spot or if you need a chromebook you can click on this link and follow the directions there they can actually provide you with a with a laptop now as According to, um, as regards to assignments, yeah, it's fully online. But what I'll do is every Tuesday and Thursday is I'll post a new assignment. And sometimes what I'll do is like the weekend on a Sunday, I'll post a new assignment for the following Tuesday. And by Wednesday, I'll post a new assignment for the Thursday. What this does, it gives you an, it gives you an ability to kind of get ahead of the curve, all right? You may have more time on a Monday than you do on a Wednesday or more time on a Friday than you do on a weekend. So I'll be um, posting a couple days early. But each by each Tuesday, each Thursday, there'll be a new assignment. All right. Now, what I will do is I'll post both uh, voiceovers. All right. For PowerPoints, it'll be a YouTube video. I'll post um, voiceovers for the homework assignments. Here again, it'll be on YouTube. I provide you with all the information that you could possibly use. All right. Now, here again, important homework. All right. Homework is all multiple choice. Multiple choice on the last page, I provide you with the answers. Then I provide you with a voiceover on how these solutions were, were solved. So if I'm providing you with all this information and giving you the answers, I can't very well collect any homework because I've given you the answers. All right, so homework will neither be collected nor graded. And I hear this a lot from people. I mean, I know some online courses, professors uh, make you submit the homework. Not the case here. Once again, so to avoid any misunderstanding, homework is neither collected nor is it graded. Grading policy, pretty standard from an A down to, well, we won't even talk about these grades. The idea of academic dishonesty pops up a lot with online courses, all right? According to the college, academic dishonesty is defined in the student of conduct. Um, documentation includes cheating, falsification of information, working on assignments with classmates without permission, plagiarism, purchasing or submitting assignments. I hope this, this isn't the case. It won't be the case with um, this semester. But just be aware, it's, you know, there's some pretty dire, um, <clears throat> pretty, dire, pretty dire things that could happen if you are accused of cheating. But I'm not going to say much more about that other than, other than to say is, you know, you're an adult. Please so do you do your own work. All right. Canvas law, login policy, it's an online course, you know, and the thing with online is there's no one there, it's not like you're in class and no one forcing you or pushing you, you know, you've got to um, log in several times a week and complete the assignments, I mean, that kind of goes, that's kind of like a little bit of common sense, all right. Course outcomes right out of the course catalog, you can look through this, um, Super important, along with renting a calculator if you don't have one the TI-84. If you have an IEP from a prior semester, all right, you need to make sure that's up to date. And what will happen is when you call the disabilities office, they will contact me with your IEP and your disability um, requirements. In most cases... If you do have an IEP, it involves um, having more time for the exams. But here again, if that's that applies, that's applicable to you, please contact the disability office. Make sure that that's in place, your IEP. And they will in turn contact me and give me a uh, summary of what allowances that you are um, 
entitled to uh, with special allowances. All right, so that's pretty much the um, course syllabus. Uh, let me go back to um, my pages here. All right, so that's the course overview. You can click on this link here. There's a little bit of a bio about your about me. You know, read it if you try to move this up a little bit. That's not what I wanted to. Hmm. All right. Doesn't seem to want to move. Anyways, there's my name, there's my email address, my profile. Check it out if you have a mind to. I go back. Right now, when you log in, today's Thursday, September the 1st. When you log in, you'll come to this page. Once the course begins, in fact, what I'll do by, I want to say by the weekend, Monday to holiday, but the latest. When you log in, you won't go to that first page. You can always get back to it by clicking on pages. But what you'll go to is the actual modules. Now, uh, let me just click on this. This is, well, right now, um, you're seeing what I see. If I click on to student view, this is what you'll initially see when you first log in, so let's say by Monday, maybe even sooner than that. Welcome getting started. Now, if I want to collapse this, I'll just click on the link here, or I can use this little arrowhead and click, and that'll open up that whole module. Once again, I can click on it to close it and click on it to open or use this little drop down arrow. In fact, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, exit out of my video here so I can have a little more room. And there it is. Okay, laptop rental. Here again, if you need a laptop, you can make an appointment. All right. Um, here again, a laptop, a Chromebook, or if you're renting a technology, you're renting a, um, a calculator, the $20 fee. But you do have to make an appointment. And that's still, I think, from the old days with COVID. And right now, as far as COVID, of course, you need to, you know, you obviously need to be vaccinated. Mask policy, right now, as of today, um, it's up to the individual student whether or not you, it's not mandatory that you do wear a mask, but here again, it's not applicable to you folks because you're not coming to campus. All right, it's, you're all online. I forgot that for a second. There's a calculator emulator. All right, um, you can download that and put that on your phone. Myself, I would rather have the actual calculator in front of me, but there's another way of using an emulator. Save you 20 bucks. Being successful in the course. You know, here again, online, no one's there pushing you. All right. Oh, I can do that later. Well, if you want to be successful, each week you have readings, chapter homework to complete. Temptation is to think in person. Activities are more urgent. Problem is, <laughs> you still we taking an online course. You just you know you can't afford to fall fall behind. All right, being successful, predicting your success in this course. Great video here. All right, talks about grit and the whole um, premise of grit is. It's not always the smartest student that does the best. It's the person that's gritty. It's the person that can overcome adversity, stick it out, ask questions, seek extra help. Grit is about your instructor again. Three ways to spot a bad statistic. Um, technology and computer resources. Um, textbook and additional resources. Getting started with Canvas. This is all contained in the welcome getting started. Well, what I want to do is I want to leave student view and actually go into the my view. Now, you're not going to see all of this, but when the course starts, all right, we're going to start off, obviously, with chapter one. All right, so if I click on either this drop, this little arrowhead here, or actually click on where it says, you know, homework chapter one, and I always, the current chapter or chapters will be labeled current. All right, so right now you're not seeing this because you're going to that very first page, but by the weekend, 
I would say definitely by Monday, most likely by Sunday evening, I'll open this up. All right, so every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to be posting new assignments. So what do the assignments look like? Well, if I click on Thursday, which is the 8th, starts out, I'm asking you to watch a video. All right, this is on Vimeo, section 1-1. I refer to this gentleman as being Big Al. He did a great way of um, putting material across. He, he just talks just plain, plain, plain English. All right. I'm asking you to do a reading. Here again, the book is free. This will go right to the link where you can read the section on defining statistics, probability, and key terms. Then I have what's, you know, a voiceover of the PowerPoint. All right. The PowerPoint is right here. You could download it if you want. Um, or you don't have to. But you can actually listen to a voiceover where I go through the PowerPoint, walking you through it. It's just as if we were in class, all right? In class, I would be showing the video, all right, from the screen, and then I would be taking you through the PowerPoint. Since we're not in class, I do a voiceover. Some extra articles here, all right, timely and accurate polls. You know, we're saying, you know, polls lately have been so, so off, and there's reasons for that, all right? So some articles. The course is real. I mean, statistics is everywhere. It's everywhere as we look around the news on the radio stats all right so that's what an idea of what thursday looks like if i go back well let me go back here um let's say you know tuesday the following week all right i'm asking you to watch an additional video all right section one two this will link to it i may actually embed this in here once again there's a powerpoint voiceover it's on youtube where i walk you through it and then our first assignment, all right? I'm asking you to download this PDF, all right? And homework, once again, reminding you that homework is neither collected nor is it graded. Give you an idea. All right, so let me just close this up. Um, close this up. Chapter 2, let's say the following next Thursday, 9.15. There's a link to my YouTube channel. Now, this is what I provide you with. Right, a voiceover. You've done the homework. You see the answers at the very bottom, A, B, C, whatever, whatever. But still, you know, how is the answer derived? I do a voiceover for the solutions to the homework, like I do a voiceover for the PowerPoints. I'll do this for each and every section. And then we're pushing on, right? You know, obviously, you wouldn't want to watch the video of the solutions prior to actually doing the PDF. That doesn't make much sense. All right, we're pushing on. Video 2-1 is a PowerPoint voiceover. Here again, I'm asking you now to watch videos 2-2 two, two, and 2-3. Two, These are the voiceovers. All right, and then here is the next homework assignment, sections 2-2 two, two, and 2-3. Two, what I didn't mention, I just the thought just came to me, is about exams. In fact, we go back to the uh, syllabus here. Kind of in my rush, went through this. Now I don't have it here, but I do have it in the um, the hard copy of the syllabus, and it mentions that there are going to be four exams. The dates I don't publish, but you'll have plenty and plenty of um, heads up when we're going to have our exams. There's four exams, three. Ex well, one is the three, and then the last one is called a final. They count all the same thing. They're all 25%, but I'll get into that as we uh, as we move on. Four exams, and I'll give you plenty of enough notice when the exams are going to take place. Where do you find the exams? Right here. You would think it would be labeled exams. No, it's labeled quizzes. Here again, if you've taken an online course, you know what it looks like. Exam number one, if you click on it right now, all right, it talks about, um, you know, having 90 minutes. Once you begin the exam, you must complete it in one sitting. There's no allowances for, for retakes. All right, now if I'm in student view, you'll see not available yet. All right, not available yet. All right, four exams. Sorry, I was just kind of blew by that. We go back to the course 
and go back to learning modules. Let me just close this now. Let me just close up chapter two. And that's pretty much what you'll see. And every week there's going to be heavy assignment on Tuesday and Thursday. There'll be some video to watch. It'll be a PowerPoint voiceover to view. And in most cases, not every day and not every Tuesday and Thursday, but there'll be a homework assignment. Now, something else that I've done for you, all right, is, you know, sometimes it's nice to know you're looking for a particular PowerPoint. You don't know, was it what Tuesday or what Thursday it was? So what I've done here is I've listed all the PowerPoints. All right. So if you're looking for one particular one, you'll find it here. All right. Rather than trying to, hey, what day was that? Um. Now, to go along with the PowerPoint, sometimes you say, well, gee, where, where is the voiceover for section PowerPoint, you know, section 4.2, whatever. I've listed all of the PowerPoint voiceovers from section 1.1 all the way to the last section that we're going to cover, which is section 7.3. But they're all here. Now, once again, I would suggest strongly that you do the work first with the homework assignments and the like. Um, well, it doesn't pertain to the PowerPoints, but you don't want to get ahead of yourself. But they're all here. They're easy to find. Now, in addition to that, what else do I provide you with? All the PDF solutions. All right. Now, I just don't have answers here. What I've got here is actually screenshots as to this will open up for me five two of course it's going to take a a little bit of time my suggestion is you just download this to your pc yeah because it comes up with that error all right well if you when you click on that what you're going to find is actually Picking up one more easy, excuse me. Sometimes it might act a little bit crazy, but you can always download it to and now my machine is kind of locked up here, but all right, there it is. This, these are all the PDF solutions. Now to go along with this, I provide you with all the voiceovers. Now, they're contained in the Tuesday and Thursday assignments, but, you know, sometimes you lose track. Where is that voiceover for section, you know, 3-3 three, three, or 3-1, three, whatever? All right, so you just click on this, and this will open up. And I actually walk you through how I got the solution. Three, this is the uh, voiceover for the whole assignment, section, chapter 3, section so I walk you through it, but even more importantly, I provide you with screenshots. So, you know, the voiceovers are great, but, you know, as I'm preparing for tests, you know, before I even get ready to take the test, what I would find super important is all these PDF solutions. You, know, you download those. Let's say the first exam may contain, you know, you, I'll be responsible for sections 1-1 one, one, all the way through, let's say, maybe 3-3. Three, three. I would have these four PDF files printed out by my side, have my calculator, a fresh set of batteries, and I'd be ready to go. And that's the idea. You know, if you were in class, I'd be letting you use your notes. And, of course, if you're online, it's the same idea, um, using, using all the notes you have. All right, so these PDF solutions, they're not just the answers. They're actually screenshots of how I derive the answer, and then you're bolstering this by watching the video of my voiceovers. So the idea is I try to provide you with all the information and then some that you need. Um, best way of contacting me is, is via email, but we do have a discussion board, all right, for chapters one all the way, and I'll add the one for chapter seven. You can post to a discussion board and the idea is if you're posting a question everyone gets to see your question and my answer um still a way of getting hold of me but a lot of people prefer if they need to have a question answered i would suggest if you're not using the discussion board just shoot me an email 
All right, so that's that's a bunch. Um, hopefully, this isn't your first experience with online. I'll be tweaking the course as we go along, but hopefully, I, I gave you a heads up as to what you can expect from the course. I pretty much laid it out. I've done this more times than I care to talk about. So, um, but you can always you can always get better. I look forward to working with you. Right now, we're a small group. I think at this particular moment, we've got nine students, but that most likely will change by um, by next week. Alrighty then. So, any questions? Make sure that you um, you email me, and um, that is that. Look forward to seeing you online.